Tigers, welcome back. We've been very busy this week. We have been running around checking out elementary basketball, the academic team, and the first ever fall carnival at Union City, and much more. Like a bird on a tree. Alright folks, you know what time it is. We're changing seasons on you. Yeah, it's getting really close to fall, which hopefully means cooler temps. Yeah, but I, I meant basketball. It is fast approaching, and our little Tigers have already begun their seasons. Let's go to Bryson and Kennedy with the updates. Thank you, Thomas and Emily. Sadly, a week and a half ago, both softball and baseball lost in districts. But you know what that means. Basketball is on its way. Elementary has already started their season, and junior high and high school have already begun practice. The high school's first game is November 1st, and it will also be homecoming. I hope to see everyone there and everyone during Spirit Week. Back to you. Thank you, Bryson Kennedy. I can't wait for seasons to be here. Practice is starting. Every Tiger is getting pumped for the season. Speaking of getting pumped, our academic team is very excited about having their first meet of the season. And I heard they performed very well. Two academic team members have the scoop on UC's brain squad. It's finally a nerd's favorite time of year. The academic season has officially started. The academic team consists of Bryson Hayes, Caden Borderman, Tegan Oaks, Rustin Dawson, Jaden Stryka, Josh Stryka, Tyler Voss, and I. After last Monday's meet, our record is 3-1. I guess I should probably explain what academics is. The academic team is a group of highly intelligent individuals who go to the Grady County Votech and compete to answer the most questions. For every question you get, your team gets right, your team will get 10 points. At the end of the meet, whichever team has the most amount of points will win. We hope to continue the season working our hardest and winning as many games as we can. If you are interested in joining the academic team, we have two that you can join. Ms. Dolmez is the sponsor of the 7th through 9th grader team, which is more commonly called the Junior High Academics. Ms. McReynolds is the sponsor of the High School Academics, which is 10th through 12th graders. So if you're interested, try joining a team and see if you like it. I'm Crystal McKinney. And I'm Caden Borneman. Back to you, Thomas and Emily. Thank you, Caden and Crystal. Okay, October is finally here. I know. I'm getting my Halloween costume ready. Yes, I cannot wait to see what you come up with because we all remember your ghost from last year. One of my fondest memories. But I don't know when Union City's trick or treat night is. JC, I think, has all the spooky details for us. Hi, I'm JC Still. This month is a busy month for the elementary students and parents. In a few weeks, on October 26th, we will have the townwide UC trick or treat from 5 to 8. Also on the 26th, the spaghetti dinner and the silent auction will be held at the new gym, along with the fall carnival, which will have hay rides, a maze, a bonfire, and other special activities. Following October 28th through November 1st will be Spear Week and Drug Awareness Week. After a long week of fun events, the community pep rally will be October 29th. Go support our school and students. See you next week. Back to you. Thanks, JC. If you want any more info on how to be super cool during the spooky season, check out our podcast. You can view it on our newest Twitter account, at UC Shows. Also, last week was Tulsa State Fair, where our FFA members did amazing and worked really hard. Nice job, y'all. The weather was still pretty hot for all our ag people and their animals, but I wonder if this week will finally cool down. Erin has her eyes on the skies for us. Hey guys, this week another cold front is coming through, and it's going to be even colder. Our highs will be in the 70s and lows in the 40s but it is officially fall. So make sure that we get our hoodies and sweats out. I'm Aaron Carbs, UCTV winner. Thank you, Aaron. And by the way, it is UCTV shows. That's our Twitter handle. That's my bad, guys. So guys, before we send this to Carson, we want to prepare everyone for Fire Safety Week. If for whatever reason you catch on fire, please stay calm, stop, drop, and roll. So Carson has been talking about getting famous on TikTok all week. So we let him go have fun in the lab. For those who don't know, TikTok is a social media video app teens use to create and share funny clips, lip syncs, and much more. Now here's Carson Logan on how to get TikTok famous. Everyone knows about the app TikTok, but no one truly knows how to reach TikTok stardom. So I thought I'd put my detective skills to good use 
and see what it takes to reach the infamous title of TikTok Famous. After hours of research, we finally figured out the secret to becoming TikTok famous. Thank you, Carson. We're glad to see you didn't catch on fire. If you want to see any more of UC's funny moments, go check out our social medias or buy your very own yearbook. They're only $35 right now, but be quick because our sale ends soon. Thank you guys so much for watching this week, Tigers. I'm Thomas Morse. And I'm Emily Lockridge. Stay classy, UC. Parker Show. Today I'm having a special guest, Bryn Barger. Hi Bryn. Hi Kate. <laughs> How's your day going? It's great. Good. So I hear it's your senior year. Yep. How's it going? Pretty great. <laughs> really? Yeah. What are your plans for after high school? I don't have any. You're just gonna live with your mommy and daddy for the rest of your life? Yep. Fun stuff. Thanks for coming on, Bryn. Um, I hope you figure it out, and good luck to your mom. Thanks. Bye. Bye. We'll see you after the break. Hi, and welcome back. This week's top five category is top five Halloween costumes according to the Journalism 2 class. At number five, we have a skeleton. At number four, we have Elmo. At number three, we have Napoleon Dynamite, which we all think that Caden should pick that as his costume. He probably won't, but whatever. At number two, we have a sumo wrestler. And at number one, we have Pennywise the Clown. I hope you all enjoy your Halloween and try not to be as grumpy as I am this week. Have fun, Union City. I'll see you next week.